Hello and welcome to MATLAB course. This is Salim. In this video, I'm going to talk about the display function in MATLAB. So the display function is used to print or display a value on the screen. And the basic shape for display function is display x. And display x is x is a value, for example, a scalar vector or a matrix, just display the value of x. And sometimes this is the common case we use. So, for example, if we have number one and number two, and for example, x1 equal value, x2 equal value, and we need to show that both value together at the same display function, same line. So we need to concatenate the numbers using this square brackets. So the square brackets and then input the number one and number two will display the two numbers or multiple numbers. Of course, we can have number three, number four, number five. And this is the reason we should use the square bracket. And if we need to display several variables at the same time, for example, if I have a text, which is hello, and text is worded, and we need to combine them and show in one line, so display hello worded in one place, in that sense, we should write display, and then in variable one, plus variable two, and plus variable three, plus, plus, plus. So the plus is kind of to concatenate the strings as in up in the previous video about the string concatenation so if we need to concatenate or combine several strings we should use the plus and finally if we have numbers and the strings so also the plus sign should be used to combine several strings and several numbers so we should use a plus sign so in summary display is showing whatever you put inside and if you need to show several things for the numbers, several numbers concatenate them using the square brackets and several text or even text with numbers use a plus sign. So the plus operation can show or concatenate several things. Let's go to MATLAB to check some examples for that. This is MATLAB and if I open the live script, so click open and this is the live script. And here we have several examples for the input function. We explained in the previous video and here the display function. And this is our objective. For example, if I define x equal 4, so just x equal 4 is kind of a scalar for x equal 4 and just display x and then run this section. So the output for x will be displayed as a 4. And x here was a scalar, but what if 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 I defined y as a kind of a vector using the cone operation. So if I say that the y is equal to from 1 and increasing every 2 to 7, it should be 1, 3, 5, 7, and then display y. If I run the section, the value for y will be 1, 3, 5, 7. And what if, if the, it, the, the value I need to display this time is string? So if I write string is equal to hello worldlib and then display the string if I just run the section, so the display will show hello world. And what if, if I, I need to concatenate several numbers? For example, if x equals 3 and y equals minus 2 semicolon, and I need to display the x and y, as we mentioned, to concatenate two numbers, just place them inside the square brackets here. So once I place inside the square brackets, it's kind of combining two scalar in a vector. So once I just run, so they combine four and minus two. And what if, if x is equal to two, three, four, this kind of a row vector, and y is minus one to zero, this is, is, is a row vector and then I will concatenate these two numbers using the square brackets here and input x and y and just display this concatenate number if I just run it will display x first which is 2 3 4 2 3 4 and then minus 1 2 0 and of course the concatenate number because we didn't put a semicolon it's shown if I just suppress the output it will show the output for display and please note that if I just comment this number and just going here and put the square brackets and then say 
x space y, it means I need to display that concatenation of x and y. So instead of define the variables and then showing that variable, I will show the operation directly and then run the section, it will be exactly the same. So there is no difference between defining the operation first and then show later or show directly inside the display. And uh, we need to trace the full wing could, for example, if we have hello world here and I put hello and then space to give space and then word and I need to combine both, so we should use the plus sign. So here I will just display string plus like string one plus string two, so it will combine this one plus this one. If I just run the section, we will have hello world. So if we remove the space here and just run the section again, they will combine together. If I need to give more space here and just run the section, we will have more space between hello and word. And of course, if I define hello word and print directly the string 1 plus string 2, it is the same as I define the text which is equal to string 1 plus string 2 and then display this text later. So that if we check this value, if I comment this one, control R, and then run the section, so the text is equal to hello world, because we defined or combined the two string inside this text. So if I just show this one, run the section again, it will show hello world. So we display the combination or the concatenation operation. To check the next example, so in the next example, we request a user to input his name and age and then display the following message. So the name that the user will input is and then the age years old. So for example, we can ask the name variables which equal to input and then we need to give the message and the message should be enter your name. And then we can give like the space and because this string, we should define that inside the quotation. And semicolon to suppress the output, and then the age. And for the age, we can put input, and then we can give the message which say that enter your age, and this is number, and then semicolon to suppress the output. And then we need to concatenate in a text which say that, in that sense, the name he will give, and then plus, and then is, and we should give a space, so I will give a space, is a space, and then I will concatenate age, and then I will give plus to concatenate, and then give a space before years old, and then the dot. And let me finally display this one, which is like the text. And in this example, we need the comment window because we the input will be in the comment window. So we should have the comment window here to have, let me just dock the comment window, like it's okay now. And then let me run the code. So if I run the code, the code, the first message, enter your name, for example, my name is Salem. Enter your age, for example, 37. And then the message will be displayed, Salem is 37 years old. And as you can see, I give space after the name, but I didn't give after the age. So if I, if I need to improve it, I will give the space like that. And then I will run the section again, so it will ask, what's your name, Salem? What's your age? 37. So we have space now and the message still again, Salem is 37 years old. And because we didn't suppress the text is shown, but if I need to suppress, I will just write that and then run the section. And then for example, again, my name, Salem, and then for example, 33, let's change this time. And then Salem is 33 years old. So it is very easy. We can promote the user to input text and numbers. And for the next example, so we request the user to, to input a value for the scalar x. So this kind of scalar, one number for with a value of x. And then estimate the value of y function, which is y depend on the x. And then display the following message. For the x value, which and then 
give this value, the y will be and the y value. So very simple. So in that sense, I we need the user to input that. So I will say x is equal to and then input. We will ask the user to define the number. So we will just enter a scalar and then semicolon and then y is equal to y is a function from x so we can say y is equal to x to the power 2 and then minus 10 multiplied 2 x and then plus 2 we estimate y and then we need to write the text in this time i will write the text inside this play to check that so i write this play and then i will write the message the message say that for x equal and then space and then outside that i will write plus and then plus x and then plus and then the message second message would say that here and then y equal and then plus and then y if i just run the section for example it will ask here about enter a scalar i will write any scalar for example 2 so it will estimate y which is the value should be minus 14 because 2 to the power 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6 and 2 multiplied to 10 is minus 20 so 6 minus 20 is minus 14 so for x equal to y is equal 14 and we can say that the output for x is is connected to the character so i can give some space here to improving the output and then run again and then display x for example x5 so that with x5 the y equal to x3 so the important for that it's just a message how to display the message for the user and this message if it's just simply scalar or a vector or a text it just we can put and also we can concatenate for the numbers we use the square brackets for the strings we use plus for the string and number we use also plus that's all for that video thank you bye bye